Good morning, guys. Um, so, after I ended the vlog, which by the way is like 12.30 or almost 1 a.m. at this point. After I ended the vlog, um, I was doing good. And then I went to um, around 7.30 or like, no, 7. I was like, I'm going to go take a walk. It's sunny. I was talking about the sunshine. Yeah, I was like, it's sunny. I'm going to go take a walk. And uh, when I went out, I just... I was fine, and then I just had this really, really, really bad pain in my side slash back slash stomach, hip, it, it, uh, like just my left side, and um, like really severe to the point where I had trouble getting back to the house. It was actually scaring me. Like I had to just walk really fast because I could barely like move or breathe. Like it was really hard to get back to the house, and I was like maybe I wasn't even a quarter mile away from the house. Um, and then, so I tried to wait it out for like an hour at home and, uh, it just kept getting worse. So then I was like, okay, I guess I need to go to the hospital. So obviously <laughs> I think you figured that one out. Um, and I'm still waiting on like all my results. They did a CT scan. They did, um, ran like a urine sample. They took blood. So I'm just waiting for all that to come back. Like when I'm laying here, I'm doing okay. Like I can feel it, but it's like a dull ache. And I thought, maybe it's going away. And then I got up to go to the bathroom, and it hurt really bad. And this is a different kind of pain. I've never had, like, I've had that pain, you know, I don't know what it was, like a month ago now from the ovarian cyst. First of all, this is on the left side, and it's my right ovary, the ovary that's affected, so that's not it. But also, this is completely different. Um, my, I talked to my sister a little bit, and she was like, it could be a kidney stone. Um, I've, unfortunately, those run in my family, and she's like, that sounds like a kidney stone. It's like, eh, I really hope that's not what it is, um, but I don't really know, like, it comes in waves, like, when I'm sitting down, it comes in waves, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it hurts, and then when I get up and I walk around, it just really hurts to the point where I'm just, like, doubled over, and, uh, yeah, I don't really get it, so, hopefully, hopefully out of these three tests, there'll be some kind of answer, um, and I will update you guys more in tomorrow's vlog, but I thought I'd give a background story on what was going on. Um, and if there's not much of a vlog tomorrow, this is this is the reason why, because this has been a very long night. I've been here four hours now, so. And because of COVID, I have to be here by myself. I'm very, 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 very thankful for some amazing friends who have been keeping me company via text, because I would have lost it by now. <laughs> I was, like, panicking when I got here. Um, just, it hurts so bad, so... Anyway, yeah, I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's vlog what is wrong, but this is just the one day we finally get some sunshine and I want to go enjoy sunset, this, like, I think I prefer the rain. Also, my dad made a pumpkin pie and it's sitting at home and I really want to eat it. So, and Trikafta. I'm missing Trikafta right now, so. Anyway, <laughs> a little bit on the stressed side, but I'll be okay. So, anyway, I will see you guys in editing magic within, within like a couple seconds, but it'll be tomorrow morning for me. Hey guys, so it is not morning. It is uh, after four o'clock in the afternoon. But besides taking my meds and uh, taking Panda out, which I didn't even hang on one second. I see hair was bothering me. <laughs> anyway. Um, so besides taking my meds and taking Panda out, which I didn't even do until one o'clock, I have literally laid in bed all day, um, just exhausted. I think I got home, I don't know, around like 2 a.m. last night, a little after 2. Um, I took Trikafta because I was like, I don't want to miss another dose of Trikafta. So I took Trikafta and then just went to bed and I took it with some pumpkin pie. My dad made pumpkin pie yesterday and like, I started getting it feeling weird like an hour after dinner. And I was sitting there in the ER last night. I was like, I want the pumpkin pie. But um, anyway, so basically what they said was it's either a kidney stone that is too small to see on the scans because they did a CT scan, but they didn't, didn't see anything. So he said it's either that or like some kind of muscle tear. Um, and he said just in case it's like something muscular to just not do anything for a couple of days. So that's... Partly why I've been lying in bed, partly just because I haven't felt very good, um, but I'm still dealing with like my lungs feeling weird, which is not anything like medically, it's just CF, because like even last night my O2 was at 100%, so 
Um, but yeah, he just told me, he's like, don't do anything for a couple of days. So like, don't go for a walk, don't go for a run, don't like just keep the activity to a very minimum, which is kind of frustrating for me because I, you know, we just had this week of rain where I wasn't doing anything and then one day it gets sunny and I want to go enjoy sunset. It's like, and then yeah, it, it was, oh, it was frustrating. And now I'm back to now, I mean, it's raining. We're, we're getting more rain from Sally, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, he just said, don't, just don't do anything, so. I'm not really sure which of the two it is. Um, my mom and my sister were leaning toward the kidney stone and honestly, I would be leaning toward that too because one, I don't see how I would have injured myself and two, everything I was describing. Like when I went into triage, the very first thing she asked me was like, have you ever had a kidney stone before? So I, I have a feeling that might be what it is. Um, today is better. Yesterday was just like this constant, sharp, severe, like some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And uh, and today it's, it's kind of like it'll be there but then it'll be gone it'll be there then it'll be gone so it's getting better um i just i have no energy and i just <laughs> don't want to do a lot so that's why i didn't pick up the camera until four o'clock because i was like i just i don't feel like picking up the camera so that's what's going on um and yeah i'm just gonna upload here um i can't promise there's gonna be a vlog tomorrow it's gonna depend on how i'm feeling pain wise um so we'll see there might be i might be fine there might not be so just putting that out there it's just going to depend but um hopefully tonight will go a bit better i am looking forward to watching the lightning game and what's now like five hours so it's just been weird because i've just been in bed all day so it's just been this weird time warp but um yeah so just wanted to give you guys a quick update let you guys know i'm alive i'm good i'm i'm fine i'm just i'm just not feeling good if that makes sense you know like i'm okay so um yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I may see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully I can because that means I'm not in pain. So we'll see. Um, and uh, I just made a cup of coffee. My first cup of coffee for the day. You know I'm not feeling well when I make my first cup of coffee at 4.11 in the afternoon. <laughs> Usually that's like the first thing I do when I, I do my treatment and coffee together. And I just, I was like, I don't want coffee. I don't, I don't want anything. So, um, so hopefully uh, tomorrow will go a bit better. And uh, yeah, it was kind of a long night. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Good night.